this module we talk about a new idea new concept this is not social order don't confuse it with that this is something new and every time we define some new concept in our course about language and gender remember we will relate it with previous talk so that's why there can be sometimes a kind of repetition of the things we have previously learned sociologists and linguists feminist linguists especially are those sociolinguists who are feminists they think that gender is not something given such as sex as i have told you in some previous module the sex is fixed we are born as male or female no nobody can change it so it is given we will do what our biological properties will dictate us to do naturally a man a boy would do as biology of a boy demands same is the case with girl but they think that this is not the case with gender see uh, we are not mixing up these two terms sex and gender whenever we use this term in sense of sex we would say it natural gender here i am talking about cultural gender that's why i have used separate term for natural gender that is sex so according to sociologists and linguists gender is cultural gender is not fixed rather it is constructed in our experiences it is not something imposed it is not something external it is something that we ourselves construct in our experiences with different social roles in different social domains and in different social orders the construction of gender takes place through language because in gender development we are involved in interactions and interactions do take place in language so this whole construction is done through language it is a linguistic construction gender is defined by patterns of relations with society at different stages of life in every new phase of life we have new relations patterns of relations and the total sum total of these relations actually is called gender it is not something predefined this is the central point we get gender from different institutions here again the term comes in sense of culture so different institutions define our cultural expectations as men and women this is what we are calling cultural gender so we get it from different institutions initially family then peers then neighbors and from different public spaces of market our markets we have called them like home schools street games workplace media university in every situation we have different experiences we are controlled by different norms yes we already know these things every set of experiences what happens we are in a new context we have new pattern of relation but that pattern of relation we have is new set of expectations cultural expectations so we add to our construction of gender through this process our experiences take place through interactions definitely and interactions are realized through language it means that we are born as males or females or with any other sex category but what we do in life as men or women this is not determined by sex 
the whole idea behind this talk in this module is that yes, we are born as male and female, but whatever we do or whatever we are expected to do later in our life, it is defined by different context and different roles that we perform in society, that we learn through interaction, that we learn through language, that we construct through language. It is also shaped by our interaction with different institutions of society. This relationship between natural sex on one side and cultural gender on the other side has to be linked with each other. They can't be separated from each other. They are two different concepts, but they have to be linked with each other. They, they are inseparable. We can't de-link them from each other. So there should be some chain that combines them together. That chain which links them with each other, that is known as gender order. The new term that I have introduced in this module. So the study of gender is because the chain that binds them together that we have called gender order, this chain is language. So when we want to study gender order, so we actually want to study the relationship between language and gender and relationship between gender and sex. So this is the rationale behind calling your course as language and gender. Actually, we are studying gender order. And gender order means that link that relates our natural sex with cultural gender. And that link is language.